Good morning everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dirt Grain Steel. We're going to be building us a road through a swamp on this episode. Clifton's going to be running one truck, I'm going to be running the other. And we are going to be building a half mile long road to get back to our river project. We have 1,200 foot of river levee to build up. And we're going to be doing it with these two and a long reach. The 200 Itachis here and our New Holland Dozers here. So these things are sweet. We'll go over some specs later on them. But these swing. These are swingers. They'll swing 360 degrees. They're pretty damn cool. Well, we're getting started now. I hauled the first load of dirty 53 limestone on one of the track trucks. Took it down to dad strength. He's fixing some holes in the road. We're gonna climb up to the top of this uh, 3300 yard pile of sand. And I'm gonna make a nice flat spot to set up here to load off of. And as you can see, we're pretty high. Uh, we're gonna start hauling this sand. This is what we're gonna make our uh, initial road out of to get back to the river. So I'm gonna get my flat spot made up here and then we'll get back to track truck and hauling this stuff back there. It's gonna be a lot of loads. Well, we're hauling in track truck now. We've got a load of sand. We're gonna head back. Dad strength is uh, starting to road through the swamp. Then we gotta go down to get to the river. These track trucks are pretty sweet. They're uh, like 250 horse Caterpillar engines. Um, they are uh, joystick controlled. I drive with this stick, I swing, and I raise my bed up and down with that stick. And then these buttons are cruise control. Uh, the monitor's pretty cool in it, tells me different things. Like there's all my vitals. More vitals. And then it gives me this, which tells me how tipped I am forward, backward, side to side. And if I tip this too far, it'll actually, uh, it'll start beeping at me. So, these things are sweet. It's got a backup camera. It's actually a uh, Caterpillar excavator cap is what they put on them. So there's a lot of stuff that's probably familiar to cat guys in here, other than the seat and the joysticks. But other than that, it's all cat uh, 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 products. But uh, they're pretty cool. There's nothing to them really. Just two hydraulic motors to drive them. A uh, hydraulic pump to run them, of course. Here's our first wooden bridge we have to cross. It's not too bad. Just cruise right over them. Cross that one. Now we have to climb over this levee. And we'll cross the other bridge. This is a bridge we had to redo this morning because it was entirely too narrow. We had to put some different beams on it and stuff. My grandma thought my shop tools were dangerous. Wait till she sees me doing this. <laughs> These trucks retail for about uh, 325 to 325,000 a piece. So, uh, they're pretty high dollar for what they are really but they sure work good out in this stuff so we're about to where dad strings at making his road it's pretty soft through here up here so a nice thing is he's a rotator so i dump and i swing around and i drive right back out well there's dad strength <laughs> But uh, this is just a road through the swamp. It's not going to be nothing fancy. Just enough to get us through here for the next 300, 400 loads, however many loads it's going to take. So I'm going to dump and head back out. So now that I dumped, here's the cool part. I can swing right around. And I can drive right back out. Dang it. Oh. Before, before when we had them, they uh, weren't swingers. It's a little rough going back over my pile. 
But before when we had them, they weren't swingers. So you had to spin around wherever you were and uh, drive back out. And that was kind of a pain in the, pain in the ass because you're always tearing up what you were driving over when you ain't hurt. So here comes Clifton. We're gonna get over here out of his way and let him get past. So far between the two of us, so that's 40 loads. get me loaded up again I'm gonna head back there we're moving about 72 yards of sand an hour so it's going pretty quick or going pretty good that's quite a bit of dirt moved so we're happy with that we're almost to the river so that was our goal for today was to get to the river so we're gonna keep hauling 
So, so far today it's been a pretty damn good day. We put a big dent in this pile of sand. Uh, the Hyundai Long Reach made it. The 300. It's here. So that's my new ride for the next uh, couple weeks. Uh, and then uh, we're just about to the river. Um, I'm getting low on fuel. I'm going to have to get some fuel here pretty soon. But uh, another probably 10, 15 loads and we'll be to the original levee on the river. So uh, once I head back that way, I'll get a video through the woods of where we're going and show you kind of the worst spot that we got to go through. But the sand's staying where we put it. It's firming up real good. So uh, things are going real good. Uh, we estimated a week just to get to the river and it's going so smooth that we're going to be there Probably by tomorrow afternoon we'll be through and have us a road up on the original levee. So that'll be pretty sweet. So that gives us plenty of time to put towards fixing the actual problem. So I'm going to head back with this load and I'll get a video when I get back there. So here's where things started getting real wet and uh real uh, saturated with water but the sand's holding up pretty good and these trucks aren't having very many issues uh, falling through there's a few spots that we poked through a little bit but being their track trucks they just kind of bridge it and go right over it so as you can see there's water to the top of the banks out here we're actually about water level with the river right now so this is actually the, the the real swampy part right here. So I'm going to dump here and Dad's strength is going to continue on building our road here. We're building it about 36 inches higher. Well, yeah, about there, 30, 30 to 36 inches. And then we're going to continue on and there's the river bank right there. So we don't have far to go. So I'm going to dump and get another well, that's going to be it for today. I am completely out of fuel. I think I have enough to make it back to the road, but the river's only a stone's throw away. Clifton's going to bring one more load yet, and uh, I think that's going to be it. So if you like this episode of Dirt Green Steel, give me a like and subscribe so far. I might keep going with this one, or I might start a new one. We'll see what happens. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.